everyone, it's Tracy and Ethan from Craft Warehouse and we're going to do a project today and we're glad you guys are here joining along with us. So today we're going to make a homemade tic-tac-toe board, which this is a fun, fun project. If you are like me and have a bunch of neighborhood kids that come around, this is a fun project not only for them to make, but for them to play as well. So today we are going to be using this great um, country round um, piece of wood from Craft Warehouse. And this is gonna be our tic-tac-toe board. And then for our pieces for tic-tac-toe, we're gonna use rocks. And we have these great little bags of rocks as well from Craft Warehouse we're gonna be using. And we have this set of brushes, which is amazing because it comes with a palette in the back, which we can put our paint on. And speaking of paint, we're just gonna use acrylic paint. So we have a line of cheap paint, which is a great value for four ounces of paint. So we're gonna use this to color our rocks. And then we're gonna use a, um, I'm gonna use a black paint marker today. And that's what I'm gonna make my Tic Tac um, lines on the wood with. But you can use the cheap acrylic and tubes as well. These are just kind of a little bit easier. And you can use whatever color. We have this great set right here of paint markers. And um, there are, 16 colors in here so the possibilities are endless and you can actually paint your rocks with these as well and then once we get the rocks painted and dry we'll do x's and o's on them so that'll be what we'll use for the tic tac toe board all right we will get um, started making our project okay i kind of got it set up here i just use an old sheet that i have um, when i'm doing crafts with ethan so that way if anything spills, it's not the end of the world. So I got a cup of water so we can clean our brushes between colors. And we're using that cool palette that was in with those that brush set. And then I got some um, paper plates over here that when we get a rock painted, we can set it here to dry. We'll probably just have to do one side at a time, sit it over there and let it dry and then turn it over and do the other side. So we're just gonna get started and start painting rocks. You can do just two colors one for X, one for O's. Um, we're gonna just do a variety of colors to make it really fun and pretty. Yep. Hey everyone, we are back and we got all our rocks painted. They look really pretty. One thing I did add, cause I noticed when they dried, they were matte, which is totally fine if you like matte. I actually put a little bit of gloss Mod Podge on there just so they're a little bit glossy. I think that was kind of a, I'm a more of a glossy gal than a matte gal. So Ethan is going to, oh, and I was gonna say, obviously with tic-tac-toe, you need nine pieces. Um, we have a few extra, which will be fun just to have around. So Ethan's gonna start putting- um, X's and O's. X's and O's. So you're gonna do how many X's? Three and three. Three X's, three O's. Okay, well, if we have 12 rocks, then it's... We need to have six. Then okay, six. so let's do... We want to do one of each color, right? Oh, yeah. So why don't you do that, and then we'll have an extra gold. So you're going to do X's on those and O's on those? Sure. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so he's just going to start putting a nice X on there. That looks great. You might want to pick the flattest side of your rock but um, any will do. And then when he's doing that, I'm gonna just start kind of spacing out so I can get my lines on our board when he's done with the, we're using the paint marker, which works great to make your X's and O's, but and again, you could use those to actually um, paint your rocks too, which works. And I saw a cute one on um, line where they did bees and butterflies. So, you know, you can do your rocks any way you want. Different fun ideas people come up with. Okay, so keep going, sweetie. Go ahead and do those. Oh. So, oh, oh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so we got six X's. Oh. Yep, do all the O's. And if you wanted to keep this outside or take it camping, I you could do another um, layer of Mod Podge. They have like that dishwasher outdoor or the outdoor one people use when they paint rocks. So you could put a coat on that as well. So, okay, Ethan has his X's and O's. 
So you could be really technical and um, divide this out with a ruler and do your lines. I kind of just fly by the seat of my pants. So I'm just going to kind of wing it. So I'm just going to do a nice um, dark line for my board. And again, these paint pens work amazing. Can I assist? You want to do this? Yeah. Okay. This. So see how I did that one? Yeah. Okay, so then take and start up here and go really straight and go down through there. All right, this will be easy. And go slow and push hard. Nice, and then we're gonna do, I'll do one and then you can do one. So I'll do this one. And then you can start one there and do there. <clears throat> Perfect. Well, that's kind of our board. We're going to play a quick game. You could, um, you know, embellish your board more. You could put stickers on there. You could paint um, butterflies or whatever you wanted on there to make it your own special board. But we're just going to keep like this. You want to be X's or O's? I'll be X's. Okay, Ethan's gonna be X's, I'm gonna be O's. So grab all your X's. Okay, you go first, where are you gonna put it? Hmm. <laughs> oh, look at you trying to be fancy, I'm gonna block you. Oh, you missed it! No! I won! Yay! All right, we'll do it again. <laughs> we'll have a rematch, I'm sure. Several. So, um, thanks for joining us. And um, I hope you have fun in making your own tic-tac-toe board. Come on into any craft warehouse, and we'd be happy to show you um, different options. Oh, I was going to show you just some different boards we have at Craft Warehouse, too. We have these great wooden boards you could do. I really like this one. It has little legs. This would be a great little tic-tac-toe board. Um, or like a coffee table. Yep, or a little coffee table, and we have, so we just have lots of options. Oh, and this little um, cool cutting board here. This would be a really cute tic-tac-toe board to make as well, and a great gift. You know, Father's Day is coming up, so um, ideas you could do. All right, thanks for joining us. Have a great day. Bye.